I'm gonna need a couple Yerkes to be able to win this fight. Simply put. All right, all right. If the thumbnail didn't give it away, the intro definitely did. So you guys can see what run we're doing. Now we're going to break down these first three fights uh, in more detail here. But before I do that, let's explain the ground rules. There's only two rules. Number one, all bosses can only be dealt with with the ground slam Asha Wars damage or riposte damage. And number two, um... No armor. I just think it fits the build a little bit better. The booty slammer. I'm trolling, but we're gonna break down these first couple fights. So uh, the first couple I wasn't fully recording for, so that's why we're gonna do the the post con for them. You know, I, I mean, it usually helps make the videos not get too overly long. So I usually do that with a couple of the boss fights anyway. But Rolana was first, and my damage was not even at its max potential yet at this stage of the game because. I still had the bleed affinity on the rusty anchor, which was my weapon of choice for this run. Um, I thought maybe the Ash of War could could lead to status effects, but ground slam does not cause any status effects. But it does do poise damage, like, and depending on what they consider a direct hit, which we'll talk about later, uh, the poise damage can actually get pretty crazy, pretty fast staggers. But I was not near max damage output. You see, Rolanda dodge right there, so no direct hit. We had to get one more hit in for the W. Which we did go ahead and do. So, that's one boss down for the run. Now, I will say, for the sake of time, I'm not showing, you know, every attempt. But, I don't want you guys to think that uh, this was by any chance a super easy thing, right? The main issues with the ground slammer, the booty slammer, is its speed and you're locked into the animation, right? So it's good because it has a lot of hyper armor, so once you get to the top of the jump, you're guaranteed going to get that attack off. But a lot of the times, you'll have to trade. So depending on the boss, you just have to figure out what windows can you actually attack. Because if you trade too much, obviously you'll just die. But the hippo was not that bad because he leaves a lot of big windows after all his attacks. So the hippo was, was pretty free, you know. And we actually have the heavy affinity now. So at this stage... Uh, we had close to maximum damage output. At the very end of the video, y'all, I'm going to show the, the full booty slammer build, what talismans I was using, the physic, all that stuff. But I will say, obviously, we had that Alexander's Jar Shard because we're mainly doing Ash of War damage and a Blue Dancer Charm because no armor. So that, that fits in very well with the rules that, that I had set. And just this is the other benefit of this Ash of War, which is kind of funny. You can actually jump over damage. Like this guy right here is a perfect example, the Putrescent Knight. A lot of his swings are low to the ground. So, hey, the skill does a great job of hopping right over. And then, yeah, there's the poise damage. When they count it as a direct hit, you see we're doing over 3,000 damage right there, which is actually crazy to think about. Because this is one of the first skills you ever can find in the whole game. So, um, you know, going into it, I thought it would just be funny. And I didn't actually think... Uh, a lot of these bosses would leave enough windows to get this slow, slow, slow animation off. But for the most part, it worked out very well, surprisingly well. And with that being said, I think we've broken down all these first three fights. I would consider this guy right here to be the easiest of all of them uh, out of the early game. But let's hop into that live com and we'll get through the rest of the DLC. Uh, me too. For, uh, it's not even patched. You it. saw the, I said I need to. You, didn't you hear me the shit. other day talking to Tyler? I said I need to get my level uh -huh. one run out before before this shit gets patched. 
And he was like, what are you talking about, Lenny? All you do is sit on that right gang. Those Holy are like crap. I just sick. two hit stagger guys with my cheeks. No, because I'm saying he's already going to phase them. two. All right, that's not a first try victory, but I see the path. This is true. They ask you a dumbass <laughs> question. I'm cussing them out because our money in the playoffs, game seven. Or I'm on it. How does it feel? How did it feel when the game slipped before your hands when Curry made you go one down? I'm gonna get up and grab bro by the neck. No. <laughs> <laughs> You think this is a game? That's good thing. <laughs> he said, "That's big." Do you game. think you could have played? Did you think you could have played better D on that shot? No, I don't think so. That was perfect D. I I mean, if, so, if you look at what's, if you look at what's uh, good defense, they'll show you that. They'll show you that clip of me. <laughs> the clip man, of me is good D. I do was talk about how Curry, how uh. How comp Curry is because uh, you know when he shot the dead crazy shot over two niggas in the Olympics for the win, the uh, this nigga Bam had a speech uh, audio of uh, him uh, saying something. He said, "When I first saw that shot go up, I said, what the fuck are you doing?'" And then I seen who it was, and I was like, "Oh, that's a good shot." <laughs> I was weak. I, was I seen who it was. Yeah, that's Curry. That's, uh, that's kind of he's pretty because it's a terrible shot for anyone but Curry. Next. That's someone else. You're bullish. You would have been heated. Curry's the only nigga with an acceptable shot. I'm sad that it's true, but after advanced testing, if I put a blood affinity on my weapon, my ass does not make it <laughs> bleed. I thought it would, but. Uh, these dudes that be these dudes that be leaving comments on our video be so mad. Bro left a comment on the shit and said bro gets hit by an exploding and surprised and knocks him on his ass. Bro was not surprised, bro was just salty. I'm about to make a burner. And <laughs> just, just start, start arguing with niggas. <laughs> no, I'm gonna start arguing with niggas. I'm gonna just you just go see when you see random when you see Lover boy three two five in the <laughs> comments is saying crazy shit. Run this down. Rat booty the third in the comments. Oh god, it's a forgotten rat booty. Bro, why is he not staggering now? It was staggering him in two direct hits before. There it is. Increased yeah, set. I'm saying he he bulked up. He said the cake was too much. Yeah. He had to bulk up. Pretty much. Oh yeah. He did back to back charges. I thought I was gonna get a window there. Yeah, I just fucked all the way up. How to beat got it. Uh, how to beat anime. For all the horror anime. How to beat my meat. Where's that one? Where's that one that one Man, that's an easy tutorial. <laughs> Because you've never had anything bad happen to you, so of course you're not gonna think bad because you've never had a reason to. Nothing's never, ne you've never had anything bad happen. Whereas I've seen some crazy shit. I've never seen no crazy happen to me directly, but I've seen it happen to other people, so I have an evil ass mindset because I've seen mm -hmm. shit. I'm like, damn. You know, I gotta throw my string in. I said, I never let that happen to me though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the nation, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That should never have read out. <laughs> and uh, no, <laughs> only once. There yeah, we I go. Was it. I was. No, Guys, just that, got was defeated. How... Generational. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The passless wonder. Now versus let me the go other, pick up or the pants. legless, the mm. legless wonder versus the naked man. <laughs> the naked woman. The naked, <laughs> the woman. naked woman versus legless man. <laughs> I told you, it's once, I, once I got it down, he couldn't escape the cake. He had no legs to run away. <laughs> yeah. Big Booty Judy is blessing level 15. I think uh, I think Mesmer's next. I need to get uh, Mesmer, Centipede Scorpion mm -hmm. Woman. And shit, I'm in the final area. There, what do you do? How's that? I'll take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> she said, she said, but does the nap actually help? I was like, no. yes. <laughs> In a way. No, it does help, but it doesn't. She was, I was like, the nap helps because I'm not stressed anymore. And she's like, well, what happens when you wake up? I was like, 
Well, like I always say, that's future, that's future Earl problem. That's not my problem right now. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> that's not my fucking problem. That's the Earl that wakes up to 30 minutes. That's his issue. That's just like, so what happens when you wake up from your nap and there's no, there's no time? Doesn't that make it more stressful to try to finish your shit really fast? That's like, nope. I just like, I, 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 I open the computer. I'm like, damn, this shit doing an hour and I still got two hours worth of work. I'll never make it in time. I close the computer and say, it is what it is, cuh. <laughs> we just gonna have to, we just gonna have to take that. We just gonna have to take for what, we gonna have to take the grade for what we did. <laughs> Can't get bad at what we didn't get done. We gotta take what we did. Nah, I closed it. I was about to fucking strap. I was about to blow a, blow a fucking blood vessel trying to fit two hours into an hour and a half. Hell no. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm putting on the game now. Or I did that once with. Or I did that once with y'all. I was like, "Where did you leave to do work?" I was like, I "Open that shit." I did about an hour of it. I have an hour left, but dude, I'm too. I'm so. That shit's so annoying and it's stressing me. So I said, "Fuck it." <laughs> I'm not doing that last hour. <laughs> it could die. <laughs> that hour of work. And then when I got to class, I asked the nigga for open. Here we had the computer side by side. I started copying this shit. I was like, "Work, work, work." I was like, come on, nigga. Because, nigga, she about to walk and she came and she said, thank you to answer the last three. I said, all right. And then she said, hey, go answer them or get the, uh, or take the grind light on those. No, I was like, I'll take it like that. I don't really feel like it. I talked to you like, like eight hours <laughs> later. I was like, all right, so what's the progress looking like? You're like, uh, I went up 10%. I was like, hmm. <laughs> what are you doing all day? And you were like, well, you see, in between each like thing, I was literally just watching TV, and I was like, "This is your problem." <laughs> <laughs> I started watching TV. I took a nap. I started playing games on my phone. I was easily distracted. I mean, that's not what he said, but this might be the greatest carry job I've ever witnessed. The greatest carry job. <laughs> the greatest carry job. He's he might. Like he it. might be better than you. He might be a better corpse dragger, dragger. Than you, buddy. It's up for debate. It's up for debate. Shit, that's, that takes a lot of practice. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, listen, listen to him. Listen to him. He, we're 2 and 0. He's 7 and 0. The, the second best thing is 1 and 1. And one. Kalo's 1 and 1. The third thing is 1 and 2. It's Earl Money 0 and 2. Nigga is dragging <laughs> corpses, and, and we're up 2 0. Oh, yeah, I'm up <laughs> We are up 2 because he's this nigga dragging wall, no, our this nigga dead wall, bodies. Dang. This nigga Oh, bang somebody. That's <laughs> he's, he's no, bro, he has a, so the boss G, right, right, Lenny? Is a is a two a two <laughs> chamber slug shotgun. Oh, that's what they I'll call talk you get cooking it. Bang it. bang and that's it. And you gotta reload. He cooking with it. That hits me, walk bro. The, walked in the bar, started losing health. That is the walk freest the window of this fight. Funny. I'm already pissed up with that much money. Bro, I literally Ooh. just died to the triple snake attack. Like, that's not the freest window in the whole fight. Like, I should be ashamed. Yeah, you might, I won't lie, you might be pissed for. I will spam health blast. Dodge, dodge. If Earl no, Money, no, I if got Earl Money losing in the game. Enjoy. Oh, and he well, staggered off the rip. Shit, bro, I had no, sh I had no shoddy on my, uh, grim, gr uh, gridlock for like, Five games, bro. I forgot to put that bitch back on. The longest. Bro, I haven't felt this succulent since '86. Oh, that's game. The worst I've ever seen. No, he dodged it. Tyler had his gun for the fashion. He had his gun for the fashion. He it. Blow. I just. Yeah, he wasn't blow. Back to back bag sell. Oh. <laughs> Why are you selling, Lenny? Bro. My bad, D. I was in the midst of a I'm about to just... big dick conversation. I'm about to just start pounding. God damn it, bro. Oh, I got me. Damn. All right. Okay. Well, this is just a raping that I've ever seen. So I'm in there, right, Lenny? Rufus, right? Boom. Rufus Rufus. out. Rufus in my hand. <laughs> Boom. So, next to you. No. Uh -huh. She's like. Wait, why? Where did that come from? You, that wasn't on at first. Yeah, I told you. I had to pull the roof of the attachment out of my pocket. You know, I keep it on. The <laughs> roof is crawling. The roof is crawling out my pocket. He's sick. I'm ready. I'm sick. Attached to my home. And, you know, oh it's so, it's so nothing. It, it, 
That's what I'm saying. It's so it's so I don't have to deal with dilemmas of it smacking people. You know, it's got too much length. It's so I don't smack people when I'm walking down the street. You know, it's for the betterment of other people. Yeah. yeah so you know, I have to detach and reattach, man. Just, oh my <laughs> god. Oh, Mesmer, how could you, bro? He just dodged me for the fun. He knew I ain't gonna blow. So I'm right. I'm sitting there, right? <laughs> oh, this is great output. You know, I couldn't. The fact you was hating on my singing earlier. No, that was crazy. Me? Yeah, you. I said, I forgot this shit. I was like, sweet like, I used to like, sweet like a peppermint. And you was like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I said, man, sweet like a peppermint. What are you talking about? <laughs> And then I continued to go for like 10 minutes. Then I forgot who it was either T or Xavier. I heard them sing it under their breath. I was like, yeah, that shit was catchy, huh? <laughs> I don't even remember that one. It was a good. Uh, it was, yeah, that's, that makes it worse. That means your hate is so strong. You did. You so locked into hating. You wasn't even conscious that you was hating. <laughs> what a <laughs> unconsciously hating. You know what I hate him, nigga. <laughs> it's free. Man, it's free to show somebody <laughs> love. Free. <laughs> I just won. I just won. I didn't know that was the kill shot. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, it's free to show you somebody love. You hate on me, nigga. You already hate no me, nigga. <laughs> Girl, I seen that. I seen that post the other day, and the in a, in a comment said, "Why he saying it like hey, a slur?" Me, he said, "Why he saying it like it's a slur?" And then the the, the reply, <laughs> the, the, the reply was, "You might want to sit down for this, buddy." <laughs> I'm gonna hold your I'm gonna hold your hand while I tell you this. <laughs> get it, nigga. Get it, nigga. History lesson. But I hate on a nigga. Lord, I, I hate on nigga. I don't know if you know this, but um. It is a slur. <laughs> Show a nigga some love, nigga. Wabbledy dabbledy. <laughs> Bro, I was supposed to make my, my IG post today. My one annual IG post. This centipede scorpion bitch just move around way too much for my slow slammer. Uh. And I feel like that's gonna make it hard for no reason because otherwise this boss is sweet like candy i'm gonna need a couple yerkies to be able to win this fight simply put i was watching a clip of you on the best of everything you was like you was like earl t play my background sound for me at first i didn't say shit i was like what <laughs> he was like play the background sound i was like <laughs> 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 and then he just started busting out laughing like I was talking about the flashback that, sound, probably. Correct. Yeah, that's what I that's what I said. The flashback sound. I just like play my flashback sound. I was like, <laughs> that's the that's what the TV shows is. That's like, <laughs> oh yeah, this shit was funny when I was re when I was watching that show. It's like the best of comedy. Ramen up. Are you, oh you, man, how about you? How about you put some ice cubes on your cheeks, right? And then you can have frost booty. <laughs> 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 I wish that Focus was on ice cubes, fill, rub, rub, sit in the I ice for 20 you minutes until your testing. cheeks are frosted. Whatever I do, the weapon doesn't You got no ice cheeks. booty? Yeah, man. Oh, it's man. It's so sad. No ice, oh, the booty is just pure physical no matter what I do, so there's no point splitting damage. Yeah, no ice booty is kind of... It's kind of sad. Long. Yeah. If I was if I had no ice booty, I'd be so depressed. Dead. Bruh, it all goes down. I missed dodge one thing and it throws my whole rhythm off. Let's go, let's go. Alright. No greed around here. I've learned. If, if I just die after- I'm, I'm so, so salty right now, bro. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Dude, it's not losing. That's thing for sports. Niggas act like it's not. I promise yeah, you, you ninety percent of Ryan NBA players were sore and losers. All their titles. Nigga, sore <laughs> losers are the best players. Niggas who are, if you're a happy loser, you're just, you'll never be good. Mind if you happy with your L, you'll take your L with, you'll take your L to the chin with no anger. No, I can admit I'm like that too. I can take an L to the chin with no anger, but like I said, and like it's just like game. It's when it's not. If it's my fault, I can't take it to the chin like football. Remember I told you we um. We lost the playoffs by like we lost the playoffs by like fifteen. No, we lost the playoffs by seven because I scored a late pick six. 
and then we lost again. All our teammates was crying because we lost in the playoffs before the finals, mm. and they're all sad and crying. And then I was sitting there drinking my Sprite and my my mom doing my hot dog walking down <laughs> the street. I said I, I threw my helmet in the car once coach got off the streets. I said, "Come on, let's go." And she's like, "What? Why you not hurt like your teammates?" I was like, "What? what I'll be here for." I put up mine. Two pick sixes, four touchdown, a deflection, and twenty. And I said I had forty eight rushing yards. I did all I could. I'm not gonna cry. I pit it up all up. I left it all up. And I, feel. I literally left it all out there. I was like, it was so bad. Coaches give me play position. I never play. He said, Derek, go play linebacker real quick. I said, huh? I said, I ain't never. I, I was like, I can't. I don't know the reps. I don't know. I don't know the coverages. Like he's like, you play corner. He's like, he was like, this is there. Fuck the coverage. He said. <laughs> and you could run it back, run all over us. He said, I want you to just put every play at linebacker just catch standing in the gap. Every time they ran it, bro, I ran at the shit full of speed and I just kept popping my shoulder in his chest and popping him in the gap. Hmm. I did that the whole like that. I was like, oh, that's what he said. He said, just blitz. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I did. I did not put the corner. Then he said, now play running back. I said, oh, okay, I definitely don't know these <laughs> He said, <laughs> he said, you know the holes, don't you? He was like, he was like, <laughs> no, he said that. Then he did this thing. You know, you know, I've always, you know how I told you I always hate uh, being the center of attention. And I hate that shit. So he, 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 he threw me out. He threw me under the bus when he knew that's what I hated. And he did it anyway. We had a bad first half, but he threw me at wide open. He threw me at running back and I was running all over it. And these niggas. Took a pick six to the house after they threw a thigh hawk the nigga. <laughs> then took a pick six to the crib. And coach was like, we go to the halftime. I'm like, Duh, we down let's seven. Go. I'm, going, I'm going to have. I'm the we best booty oh, slammer. Now Let's continue see. the story. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk in last. All I see is coach. All I see is our coach literally grab me by the pads, yank me and say, he, just, he out there leaving it all out there. Y'all should try it. And I'm just looking at everybody <laughs> at me. I'm in the middle of the huddle. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who y'all thought y'all was better or faster than at the beginning of the season. He's the best player on the team as it stands now. I was, mm. like, we, we, like, I was like, we've been new that. You were like, why they have to put <laughs> me in the center that. of attention? I was just, yeah, trying, then I was like, I was just I, trying to be a great role. A great God. role player. Oh, shit. I already killed these. I was thinking I'm gonna have to fight the little dueling dragons to get Igon to help me, but apparently I already did that. You know what? I'm so cooked on my addiction, I don't even remember doing the prep work before the recordings. Yeah, that might be one of the saddest things I've ever heard in my career. <laughs> I, might let, I might let it slide this time because I'm in a good mood. Oh my god, he's just this dude, he just laying on the floor in pain. Just taking it. No, but my question, my question is, how did Igon fight Bail? I didn't crawl all the way out there. Because he or whatever happened. How the fuck did he get all the way out there? You're summoning his spirit to fight. Like it's before he got injured. He says, "Summon my mm. soul." So you're summoning. He, he just so angry at Bail that he, you can summon Spend his soul, soul. To, to fight for him. But like he's near death in, in actuality. Uh. He makes me mad. She could have kept this to her. Oh stuff. my I'm god, I just died. I was about to first try him with Egon. And then I was I just took the Bam. full force of a ten piece lightning combo to the face. Bam! Vile Bam! Oh terror incarnate! I hereby vow you will rue this day! Behold, the true great warrior, Bandai Egon. Your fears may flash. There is life in me yet. I will soon feast upon your heart. Mark my words, you too shall know fear. My arms. My life each life a bloody ruin. Curse you, Bale! Solid of scale you might be, foul dragon. 
and I will riddle with holes your rotten hide. With a hail of harpoons! With every last drop of my being! Yeah! <laughs> you shall haunt me no longer! Oh, that's a win! A bunch. Damn, that fucking cost it crazy damage. There we go. Good shit. You got. This world. Oh yeah, there's people that are generationally worse than me. Um, even, even I'd, be, a, I'd be surprised myself, cause I'll admit to playing this game a hell of a lot. And yeah, you and Randy. So I had a lot of time on my hands. Sure. I've got like. 600 hours on the game. 600 hours on Elden Ring. Yeah. They'll say some shit like, Bro, I'm like, I just got 700 hours. And I watched Bro be fighting Malakith on his first playthrough. <laughs> Come on, Unbox. Get in here. I'm dead. Alright, that's, that's alright. I'll just kill all three of them. Flame grant me strength. Boom. Two hands. Now I look at where he spawns. I think it's right here. Is it? I'll tell him. So I'll start running up on him. So then so I I'm playing this RPG. School, so I'm playing school, this school. So I'm playing this I'm playing this RPG game, right? On the box. It said It said, do you want magic or a sword, right? You know me. I said give me the fucking sword. And this shit gonna say You can still get a weak magic oh! or you can or you can go all in on your sword, right? They say you can go all in on one to boost it higher, right? So you know me. I said, all in on the sword play. No magic. <laughs> Don't fight this bitch with straight magic. And then, you know, I throw the headset on. I start talking shit while I'm cooking. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, I don't use magic like you Harry Potter niggas. Look at this. They, they only want me. This is crazy work. <laughs> He's literally whooping their ass, and they just focused on me, bro. It's because my booty slam has so much range; it just it just slaps them. I just wasted a booty slam. Oh no! How could this happen to me? I said, I'm glad you brought it up. You really had that one sitting. Hey, like that was enough said, to win. Just said, no, no. No, I said, wow, <laughs> he's been sitting on this one for a while. No, because he just you couldn't wait to get it off his you chest. Kept he would wait to it. like this. <laughs> it was not your first time. <laughs> but I didn't notice the pattern until the, that was like the third time, and then I realized it was a pattern. <laughs> I thought maybe what I said might have connected a little bit. And then I realized <laughs> you were just reacting to what you had said so you could pull up your blasphemous right. story. And then, yeah. from that point, I was like, oh, he's cooked. <laughs> I said, now, I said, I if knew you that wanted I... to just say yo story, you could have just started flapping. I, I already know. <laughs> or Loki knew that. I just wanted to see how long it was going to take y'all to catch on. Y'all took longer than I expected. I said, oh my God, they're oh, just so slow. going to catch y'all on, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, you were. It's a bunch of imbeciles. But it... <laughs> Hey, that sounds. I call this cappuccino. It looked just like a cappuccino. Everybody was so sweet. I know. That's how I feel. Other than Rolanda. Yeah, but you know that could have been much more sweet if you actually did some exploring. But I understand. I understand your. If pride. I did what? You know, if you went went into some other shit first. So but... now we make enough fake times. <laughs> What? You'll see, it's just getting bad when we start making up fake shit to justify our causes, Lenny. There's no such thing as exploration. Once you walk in a room, once you walk in a room to fight, it, it creates a legendary barrier. And once the barrier's up, no matter how hard you try, no matter how much, not even if you pitch her all in there, you can't leave, Lenny. I think you could. But maybe that's just... You can't, Lenny. 
Is it telling me they let you walk out? Yeah, they did actually. Cause man, the bear. If you did it, I mean, you cut, but the barrier was too strong for me. No, no, no. I, I felt the barrier, but yeah, I just like brushed it off. Like I didn't realize what it was. I was like, damn, something was pulling me back right there. And then I like, I like forced through it. I was like, hmm. And that was it. I was like, damn. It must have just been my Cuda exhaustion. <laughs> my Cuda exhaustion. Hey. Still had the wheelbarrow. I did. I'm getting hit I by felt the bear. Right See, I felt the barrier trying to keep me in, and I said, hmm. Must be a reason it, it must be a reason it wants me to stay so I walk back here. And now I'm just gonna have to learn to fight this man normally and cry real tears. Eventually. If y'all saw my last challenge run the arcane only video, you might have seen I folded during the final boss, I went and summoned the mimic tier, and I had, you know, an insanely high weapon output. But at that time, I didn't know the second phase well, and I didn't want to sit there and learn it, because it would have took a lot of hours. But this time, I did have to abandon the challenge run a bit. I had to I had to put some heavy armor on because this man's damage is just so insanely juiced. It's actually crazy. And I just did a regular fight. But I was able to learn and do it no summon. So it still was a pretty big accomplishment for me coming from uh, only beating this guy with summons. And it did take a very long time still, so honestly, this was still the hardest fight of the run, which is crazy to think about because I literally did Booty Slammer only for the rest of the bosses in the whole DLC. Um, and I mean, I didn't fight everybody, it wasn't an all-remembrance run, it was just beating the DLC and, and whatever other uh, extra shit that I did. But what we're watching right now is going to be the winning fight, so yeah, like I said, I put on some heavy armor, uh, changed up the talismans changed up the physic flask for the most charge attack damage rather than uh focusing on you know ash war damage and i got to learning his move set regular fights but that didn't stop me from dying to phase two a ton of times and still choking a bunch of fights uh i got him down to meteor range a bunch of times and then i would proceed to to choke the fight from there that happened like probably four or five times it was very tragic but eventually we got to this critical attempt right here and you guys will notice at the end of the fight uh, there's gonna be a similarity with my last dub I think it might be right here he's gonna go for the grab attack nope okay so I had to dodge this one more combo now this is the easiest combo to dodge you want to stay rolling forward diagonal towards his left uh, kneecap you know but I skipped the meteor phase because he staggered which was which was generational so and then you know I had to kill him with the booty slammer still otherwise you know it would be a, it would be a failed challenge so we still got the kill and now it's time for the victory lap so here is the full build i'll break it down this is not the build i used for the final boss that was mainly just a charge attack build and you know more focusing on surviving but this is the full build right here we got alexander Shar, blue dancer charm uh the critical hit booster and then just defensive uh ritual shield for survivability you can pause if you want to see the rest uh, the Physic Flask just had a defensive buff and a stamina regen buff. But, you see me celebrating right here. Uh, <laughs> I hopped on over to the Memory Touch. I still think this is a, a sad way for the DLC to end. Very anticlimactic. Just kind of like, it just feels kind of phoned in to me. It's just a black background with Mikola yapping about stuff that we already know from playing the DLC. About how you wanted to send a Godhood. And basically told we're dying. Uh, against your will, you better come over here and be my consort. But, uh, it is what it is. I still have thoroughly enjoyed the DLC so far. And let me let me just tell y'all, uh, next run, we're going to be going to Dark Souls 3. I said I was going to do a challenge run on there eventually a while back. So, I'm going to head over to Dark Souls 3, take a break from all the Elden Ring stuff. But, this has been a really fun one. I did not think the Booty Slammer would be this powerful and be able to actually kill these DLC bosses which are considered by many to be the hardest in uh, in Elden Ring so I hope you all enjoyed uh, please drop a like sub up if you're new uh, the best way to help the channel grow but yeah until next time y'all show me what kind of say nigga that did what I did with these sonics niggas all that street pawn shop flexing it like it's real but it's really dishonest mama tell me not better with nonsense so I only pick up of his commas niggas pussy get thick at this drama only switching up doing this genre and I just heard this pretty hoe until a
coming, it's mighty, they more than Obama. All he said it once, niggas.